Remove the power from the 3710. Disconnect the suction line. Turn the sampler upside down to access the distributor arm on sequential samplers or float cage on composite samplers. Remove the tubing from the composite tube guide and push the tubing out of the center section. Turn the sampler right side up. Loosen the thumb screws and remove the liquid detector cover as well as the pump housing cover and remove the old pump tubing. Remove any silicone deposits from the pump rollers or pump housing. Remove pump tubing from the tubing coupler by pulling or using a utility knife. Replacement tubing is available in bulk rolls of 10 feet and 50 feet links. Each bulk roll includes an instruction sheet that shows you how to properly measure, mark, and cut your replacement tubing depending on the sampler model and the specific bottle configuration. Follow the instructions for your specific sampler model and bottle configuration to determine where to mark the replacement tube. Starting at one end, apply the first installation mark. Then measure to the second installation mark. And finally, measure and mark the overall length of the replacement tube. After the installation and overall length marks are in place, cut the tubing at the overall length mark. After reattaching the tubing coupler to the new pump tubing, carefully align the pump tubing past the liquid detector and into the pump rollers. It can be helpful to manually rotate the pump rollers to best align the new tubing. Reinstall the liquid detector cover and the pump housing cover and feed the remaining tubing down into the center section. Turn the sampler upside down and feed the new pump tubing through the composite tube guide so that the end of the tubing extends slightly past the composite tube guide. Turn the sampler right side up and reapply power. To reset the tubing counter, press the Enter key. Then use the arrow keys to select Configure, then press Enter. Press the left arrow key until you see Tubing Life, then press Enter. The current pump count limit is displayed. Press Enter, then select Yes to reset the pump counter. Then press Enter. Press Exit to view pump operation. To test the pump operation on the new tube, press the buttons on the control panel to run the pump in both forward and reverse for several seconds. Pump tube replacement is now complete.